Okay, so the rest of this video is probably gonna be a voiceover because I don't want to be talking too much like a lot of people who do makeup be doing in the videos. Like, don't nobody want to hear all that. Like, so I already moisturized my face, and then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Pore Filler Primer. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really use it all the time, and I should because you know it's like a barrier between the makeup and your skin. Um, I already took a shower, washed my face with my apricot scrub from Walmart. If you guys know the same eyes. Um, and then I used Shea Butter to moisturize because it is so cold and dry up here where I live at. Um, so yeah, so then now I'm gonna go with this and um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. From busted so bad. Even though I'm not really busted, girl. Don't ever sell y'all so short because y'all are cute. You oh, also, I left all my makeup brushes in um, Florida when I went. So yeah, we rocking with a beauty blender. That's the only uh, thing I have for application. I also got these. Uh, it's a double set. It was like five something at Walmart. All the stuff that I use, most of it, is from Walmart. So that if you guys want, you guys can get you a um, get the same thing. You know, to do your face. It's um, Eco Tools. Get it over there in the makeup section. See the the brushes that come with it. And I really just needed something for eyeshadow because I can make it do what it do with anything. Um, I'm using this foundation in the shade 338. Uh, um, and then you know. I like girl poke too. I usually use the same shade Fawn, but yeah, I don't have that. So we're using almond and then the yellow color corrector one. I probably want to use that one. I don't know, but like, yeah. Let's kind of start off with my eyebrows. That's why I'm so close to you guys. But let's not judge about, um, they're not cleaned up. Also, if y'all want a nail tutorial, let me know. <laughs> You're getting one anyways. You don't have to let me know. But what I'm going to be using is some pomade that I got from uh, Walmart as well. It's a uh, Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. So I'm using guys and it comes with this cute little you know double-sided thing you know what I'm so I'm about to do these and put this in time-lapse because like if y'all want a detailed brow tutorial video that's a video in its own and um yeah I'm gonna put part of me doing my eyebrows and then I'm just gonna cut that out of there because like if you want a video for that then that can take up five ten minutes like you know what I'm saying so. I really don't know if it makes a difference for my skin yet. Um, and as you guys can see, that my skin is kind of breaking out. Don't do like I'm doing and put makeup over your skin that's not doing the best, but it's doing better than it was. And um, I don't know, it's my face. I didn't do these nails over here because like I said, you guys are getting a video, whether you want it or not. You can just like not watch it if you don't want to, but let's get on to the baking and then I'm going to get into the Using some colors out of today is going to be this pa palette that I got at Walmart. It's called Spectrum. 
and I'm gonna do like a cool little neutral thing uh, look on the on the top of my lid and at the bottom I'll add a pop of color yeah I guess what color I'm gonna use and another palette I'm gonna be using which I've been using for the mirror this whole time if you guys haven't seen it it's dirty I know don't dirty me but it's the soft glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills I purchased this at Sephora if they still got it if they don't online so right now I'm going into the shade Ember and I'm just gonna add that to my crease you guys the number one thing that's the most important is you want to make sure that you are like placing the color and then blending the color so you want to place it and make sure there's not too much left on the brush and then blend and the most important thing when you're doing your eyeshadow is to blend 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 it is 2020 we're about to be in 2021 in a couple weeks and some people still don't know how to blend their eyeshadow we are too grown for that um yeah just that's the most important thing about <laughs> that's the most important thing about uh, blending your eyeshadow and everything like that so yeah Oftentimes, it's really hard to get both sides looking like identical, but um, like you just kind of keep looking back and forth. Um, I could definitely tell that the side that I'm doing right now looked it didn't look as perfect like I wanted it to as the other side, but that's fine because um, if you're gonna have your hair down, here's a little tip it really don't matter because like the ends of your hair kind of. I mean the ends of your eye look will kind of be covered up a little bit also by the lash so you kind of you know are giving a little bit of leeway but I'm I switched from the spectrum palette over to the Anastasia um, soft glam palette I'm using the shade I believe it's called amber the first shade was amber then amber and then I used the no amber might be the dark one I'm not really sure let's see y'all see that so yeah and then I'm gonna take the darkest shade and add that to the the like outer third of my eye just to kind of deepen it up a little bit more and then blend the leftovers you know into my crease but I try to keep the top of the eye looking very simple I just use three shades and that's about it guys colors quite a bit trying to figure out something so I'm actually taking a mix of the three of these here so I'm kind of just like you know rubbing it and my inner crease with mm, we're gonna use fairy from this palette which is just a cute little shimmery shade down here uh, let's see how this looks Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now is pop on a pair of lashes and then highlight my face and I'll be back.
this little tutorial. Um, all I did was go ahead and pop a lash on. I added a little wing because I, I laid the lashes a little bit higher than my uh, lash line. I laid them a little higher, put the little wing on there. If you guys want to see some of those little tricks, um, let me know. I'll give you guys a video on that. I uh, did a little lip liner with a brown lipstick to blend and kind of make a nude for my skin tone because a lot of like nude lipsticks are not nude for um, us chocolate girls because our top lips uh, most of the time are darker than the bottom lips. So yeah, that's the final look. I added a little bit of highlight. Um, you guys saw those clips and that's it. You know, usually I would have laid my edges or something like that, but I don't know. I feel cute, you know. We don't have to have edges to be baddies. But this is my look. And just in time, because she just woke up from a nap. So, looking like Mommy Anna over here. Yes, sporting my jewelry. My got me. Mm -hmm, got me. But that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ka-chow!